hello youtube uh, welcome to classic sad store and first of all i would like to welcome all of uh, our new customer on this channel and uh, all of our subscriber and i would like to thank them for uh, subscribing our channel and watching our and liking and sharing our videos so uh, in today video uh, we are going to see that how can we recover uh, or star side devices in case of uh, wrong software or other uh, during uh, software update whenever the power losses so in both of the cases your stb is uh, become unable to you can you are you are unable to use your stb or in other words you can say your stb has gone into break state so uh, now we we will start our video and i will show you how can you recover your stb with the help of usb so let me open this file so uh, the basic introduction of this video is that there are totally three methods by the by which you can uh, easily recover your stb the one and the most simple method is that you can easily recover your star set devices with the help of usb the second one is you can recover with the help of uh, loader and rs rs232 cable which is also known as serial cable so for the second method here the second method uh, you guys should have a valid uh, loader that is compatible with your devices and you also have flash file which is which is also called dump file and you also have uh, usb 2 rs232 cable or in old pcs or laptop which have rs232 port you can usually you can directly use the uh, male type rs male to female rs232 cable the third one method is that uh, you can easily recover your stb if both of the above method don't work then you can recover your stb by using the uh, universal pro programmer like as programmer or uh, cs341a programmer or uh, there are various sort of programmer which has the ability to read your flash ic so in the stbs as you guys know uh, the main software is stored in a flash ic which has usually memory of uh, normally you can say 8 mb 16 mb or up to uh, various like android uh, devices you have flash ic of up to 2 gb so in this short video we will uh, only see the method that how can you recover your stb by using the USB so first of all uh, you have to get to know that usually you guys have two sort of STBs the one which are equipped with the ALI chips and the other one which are equipped with the GX chips so let me show you uh, example let me minimize it here for you so uh, this is the popular one both are uh, popular one product so both of these products have equipped with ali2661 chip okay and uh, here the other one these two are like this uh, and this the both of these model are equipped with the gx national chip so what's the difference the difference is that first of all uh, you have go to the website cwdw.net or swdw.net so we will start this procedure so these both of these websites are very good so i would recommend you whenever you want to download the latest software or flash file or dump file you should use these both of website so uh, in this video i will show you that uh, how can we recover the star set 200 hd 4k so as i told you earlier that uh, sr 200 hd 4k has this ali chip so first we will go to the website let me type it uh, let me type it cwdw and let's see here the website is going to open and on the other tab we will open the website swdw So maybe 
maybe this website has uh, some server issue so at here so uh, now would like to recover over device like 200 HD 4k but for that uh, this website had also flash file for your stb so flash file are necessary are required whenever you want to recover your stb with the uh, method number two and method method number three so for method number one you just need the latest version of the software for uh, that device so let me type 200 ht and see what happen So here is the latest version is 200 HD Extreme. So let me download it. Uh, so now the file is downloaded. So let me open it for you. So this is the file. So now we will extract it to the desktop. So here is the file. So now we will go back to the and its version is uh, 1.63 which is I think the latest one. So this is the another website old one. Let me open it again. Here it is open. So now we will go back to the method. So what we have to do next. We can use both of these website. Let me show uh, CWDW where you can find the test of the software for for example 200 ht 4k so here and here is the this one is the uh, 1.63 this one is the latest version so i would like to show you other thing that here they have uploaded the flash file which is of 16 uh, MB and here is the you can say it's the uh, loader for RS232 cable so if you want to recover your 284k you have to download these two item also so before that if you want to download the flash file for which for which model let me see it see you guys uh here for this model if either you want to download your flash file for for say 200 ht extreme sorry 2000 ht extreme you have to type double six two one and I press the search item so here you have got the flash file for uh, and loader for 200 ht extreme and if you want to download your flash file for uh, ninety two stream, you have to type double six two eight, and here you will get the uh, flash file and the loader for recovering GX table two. So let me show you. These are the downloaded file. So first we have to complete this procedure for ALI chips as I have downloaded the latest version for two hundred SG four K. So now we will go to the desktop and rename this to ALI underscore update dot bin. So that thing was mentioned ALI update dot bin or rather you can name it update dot bin now uh, we will see the method to recover the GX chips STVs like uh, star set SR 4060, 4080 or 5080, 7060 etc. So the, now we will go to the download section. Ok here you guys can see we have the file of for 2000 HTX frame. So let me extract it to the desktop. So this 
this file is extracted so so i would like to clear you that this was basically the dump file dump file or flash file is usually of uh, you can say 16 mb let me go to the properties and see so it is a uh, of 14 mb not of 16 but for national chip stbs you have to rename the file to gxrom.bin so it is very essential that if it is not named to this one your stb will not read the file so now we will have to connect the usb to this pc so we have downloaded the file we have named the file and for ali chip and now we will place the file into the usb so this is the file for 200 ht4k we will copy it and then we will uh, place into the usb so here it is placed and with the name of ali update dot thing so after that now uh, we have to connect this usb to the receiver in off state and then before turning on the receiver we have to press a power button either on the at the front of the stb or either by remote control so you have to continuously press the key and then you have to power on your stb after that on the front screen whether you have 7 segment display or led uh, vft type display the update or upd will be shown on the display and after that you have to release the uh, power button and uh, you have to leave the stb till then the receiver will again uh, reboot itself and it will show the status of a zero double zero so now we will go to the stb and see that how this process shall be completed so welcome guys uh, here is this stb so like i said it before we will uh, in this video give you our demonstration about recovering stars at sr 200 hd extreme 4k so first of all uh, this is the usb drive and in which we have placed the file ali underscore update dot bin which is uh, we're going to uh, recover this stb so first as you know this stb is in power off state so at first you have to connect this usb to the stb so at the back here you can see this is the usb port and you have to plug in this stb so that will place so now uh, there are two ways either uh, before turning on your device this is the remote control unit for the stb either you have to continuously long press the this power button in the direction of stb and then you have to turn it on or either you have uh, the power button at the back you first you have to continuously press this power button and then you have to uh, turn on the power supply for the receiver so, so now uh, i will press uh, this power button continuously now i have to press the button and now i'm going to turn on the power supply and uh, now you guys can see it is ongoing the automatically process for recovering this stb so it will take a little bit time till this stb will recover itself so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have uh, any queries or question you guys have got our whatsapp number showing on the screen you can simply text us on our whatsapp if you need any technical support or you guys face any sort of hurdle in this process and uh, one thing i have to mention that uh, which is very important that after 
recovering your STB it is very important that you have to uh, factory default your STB so once this process is completed you have to connect this STB to the uh, your TV or display devices and then you have to first factory default it so this process is ongoing and it will take a little bit time after that hope this box will recover successfully Uh, so now this box is recovered successfully and uh, okay so now this box is successfully recovered now I will connect it to the TV and then factory defaulted so hope you guys enjoy the video uh, if you like our videos kindly uh, share and like our content see you in next video till then take care bye bye